Good morning, everyone. Students, in our last lecture, we discussed about the assignment and previous topics. Which first we discuss economic activity, non-economic activity. Then we discuss different type of economic activities that are business, profession, and employment. Then we discuss our features of our business. Now today we discuss a classification of business activity. Our business activity are broadly classified into two parts. One is industry, and second one is commerce. Today we discuss about the industry. Now let's discuss what is industry. Industry is an economic activity. which is concerned with production extraction processing of resources into a useful goods it involves creation of many types of goods which may be broadly classified into three main categories our categories are consumer goods producer goods and third one is intermediate goods now let's discuss what is consumer good consumer goods are those goods which are used by a consumer as a consumer you can use tv utensils clothes toothpaste soap etc now let's discuss our producer goods these are those goods which help in producing other goods which is basically used by our producers for example machines tools these goods are also known as a capital goods now let's discuss about a intermediate goods these are those goods which are in the form of raw material and which are used for producing other goods for example steel steel is used for making utensils copper used for making our wires etc so these are known as a intermediate goods now let's discuss a different types of industry our industries are basically divided into three categories first is a primary industry second is a secondary industry third one is a tertiary industry primary industries are those industries which are concerned with extraction of natural resources and reproduction and development of living organism and plants these can be further classified into two categories one is extractive industry another one is a genetic industry now let's discuss extractive industry these are those industries which involve extraction of products from a natural resources such as a land sea mines etc these industries provide a product that are used as a raw material by many manufacturing industry for example hunting farming mining etc now let's discuss genetic industry genetic means parentage or a heredity it includes all those activities which are used for further reproduction of plants or animals for example plant breeding poultry farm nurseries are the example of genetic industry now let's discuss a second type of industry which is known as a secondary industry secondary industries are those industries which use the material already extracted by a primary industry they are concerned with converting the raw material into a finished goods or either for a final consumption or being used as a input by others for example mining of iron ore is a primary industry while manufacturing a steel is a part of our secondary industry our secondary industries are further classified into two parts one is manufacturing industry another one is a construction industry now let's discuss what is a manufacturing industry these are those industries which involves conversion of a raw material into a finished goods for example sugar can in change into a sugar leather into a different leather products our manufacturing industry are basically divided into four main categories first is a analytic industry 
second one is a synthetic industry third one is processing industry and fourth one is a assembling industry let's discuss about the analytic industry these are those industries which are concerned with analyzing separating a different component from a same raw material for example in a crude oil is processed into many finished products such as a kerosene petrol diesel etc second one is a synthetic industry synthetic industries are those industry which combine a various components to form a new product for example soap while we manufacturing a soap we add a so many ingredients then we manufacture a single product so here we combining a various components and then we manufacture a new product third one is processing industry these are those industries that involves processing of a raw material through a various stages of a production for getting a finished product for example paper industry sugar industry sauce industry etc now let's discuss about the sauce industry in a sauce industry we discuss about the procedure how to make a sauce first wash the potatoes then separating a defective potatoes then boiling the potatoes then add the ingredients then reboil it and then we pack it label it and then we de deliver to our customers so this is a whole process while manufacturing a sauce so this industry is known as a processing industry now last assembling industry these are those industry which are concerned with assembling a different components or parts to make a new product for example computers television we assemble a different different components we assemble the articles and then we manufacture a single product for example car in a car while we manufacturing a car we add a wheels alloys nuts engines steerings covers then we manufacture a car so this is called a assembling industry our secondary industries are basically divided in two part now we discuss a second part that is a construction industry construction industries are those industry which are concerned with construction of buildings dams roads a basic feature of this industry is that it creates a immovable assets now what is a immovable assets immovable assets are those assets which can't move from one place to another place so it is called a immovable assets now third industry that is a tertiary industry these are those industries which is known as a service sector industry it includes those activities which provide a support to a primary industry as well as a secondary industry as well as trade so such activities are known as a transportation warehousing banking etc thank you have a nice day